Ghoulings, friends. I'm your host, Mr. Creepy. Tonight's story is titled, Dark Confessions. In the small town of Ravenswood, nestled among the mist-covered hills, stood an ancient church shrouded in mystery and whispers of the supernatural. The townsfolk spoke in hushed tones of the dark confessionals that lined the walls of the church, where secrets were whispered and sins laid bare. Over the years, a malevolent presence had taken root within the church, drawn by the weight of those dark confessions that echoed through its halls. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I've raped three women. <laughs> Father? Yes, my son? I embezzled money from the bank. F -f Father? <laughs> yes, my son? I... I murdered my daughter. One fateful night, as an eerie chill settled over Raven's Wood, the church bells tolled ominously, signaling the arrival of a sinister force. The parish priest, Father Thomas, received a frantic call from the church elders, pleading for his immediate presence. Without hesitation, he made his way through the winding streets to the ancient church, a sense of dread gnawing at his core. As Father Thomas stepped through the heavy wooden doors, he was met with the suffocating darkness that seemed to seep into his very soul. The air was thick with unnatural stillness, broken only by the faint whispers that seemed to echo from the shadows. Leave here now! Hail Satan! The elders led him to the heart of the church, where the demon was said to reside, within the depths of the confessional booths. With trepidation clawing at his heart, Father Thomas approached the booths, each one a silent sentinel of the sins that had been confessed within. He began the ancient rite of exorcism, his voice filled with the power of faith and conviction. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! And then a sense of unease crept over him. The demon's presence grew stronger with each word spoken, its malevolent laughter ringing through the empty church. <laughs> Mother Mary is a whore. Jesus is the false messiah. <laughs> Suddenly, a blinding light erupted from within the confessional booth, casting twisted shadows across the walls. Father Thomas felt a searing pain tear through his mind and body, as if a thousand knives were carving into his very essence. In a moment of ferocious agony, the demon's unfathomable presence surged forward overwhelming his defenses and searing into his soul. Be gone, demon! <laughs> Be gone! <laughs> his voice no longer his own, a sinister smile twisted his features, now a vessel for the malevolent force that had taken root. The church elders watched in horror as the priest they had called upon to banish the demon had himself become its unwilling host. Father Thomas, is that you? Aye, lad, it's Father Thomas. <laughs> now with a new soul, the soul of Satan! <laughs> Days turned into nights and the once holy halls of the church grew tainted with an evil that seemed to seep from Father Thomas's very pores. His eyes glowed with an unholy light, his voice a chilling echo of the demon's twisted laughter. The townsfolk whispered of the priest's descent into madness, of the horrors that lurked within the church's walls. As the days stretched into an eternity of torment, Father Thomas fought a losing battle against the demon that now held sway over his body and soul. I can beat you, demon! I can beat you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ! You can't 
resist me? In moments of fleeting clarity, he begged for release, for an end to the suffering that had consumed him whole. But the demon reveled in his pain, feeding on his anguish and despair. And so, the once holy priest of Ravenswood became a cautionary tale, a warning whispered in the shadows of the church. The demon that had once haunted the confessional booths now walked among the living priest, a twisted mockery of the godly man he had once been.